up YouTube, it's Dom here from Payday Pickups and I'm back with another video and as you've seen with the title today it is my March Essentials slash Favourites. Based in this series I showcase all the items I bought within the month as well as brands that have sent me out stuff. So anyways, let's get into it. So the first pickup of the month it is a vintage sweatshirt, it is from the brand Guess. It is this white sweatshirt right here, oversized, size extra large. It has the black Guess embroidery right there, jeans underscored in red and it's got a little question mark there. I think the colourway is so clean. I picked this up from Rick's Retro for about £54, it's pretty expensive and it's in a size extra large due to it being vintage i think the neck's been pulled and kind of it's kind of a crop look as well it kind of fits like the new york rap simmons oversized knitwear it's actually really like the fit on this so the next three items i picked up were all coats and they're all from my favorite brand these are all going to be selling on my website which is payday vintage and you would have seen these plastered all over my instagram as well as the payday vintage instagram it is these tommy hill figure vintage coats the first one right here, this Anna wrap right here, it's actually so clean, oversized, got the Tommy Hilfiger badge right right there, yellows, whites, navy, it's also the sailing gear and then this fucking sick patch right here on the sleeve, so so clean, no stains whatsoever, so if you're interested go over to my website. The second one we've got, these two are actually identical, the second and third, just different colourways, just the Tommy Hilfiger coat right here, just got the Hilfiger on the sleeve and then on the opposite sleeve it just has the Tommy Hilfiger print right down the side and it also has the tag right on the back. And then the same goes for it again, but it is the navy one. This one right here, navy right here. It's got the yellow neck, flag print on the sleeve, and then just says Tommy print down the sleeve right here. In yellow, Tommy Hilfiger, if you can see it right there. And then on the back, once again, it's just the logo tag right there. So they're the next three pickups of the month. So now comes to the next piece which I cop this month. Once again, it's another Visa vintage clothing. Summer season is coming up, so the festivals are coming up, so I wanted to get some more wavy garments and vintage stuff. So I picked up this vintage Adidas track jacket right here. Very variety of colorways, like black, got the lime green, the white, and also the purple, and then the black spots right there. I wanted something a bit different, a color kind of out of my comfort zone, purple and green, to try something a little bit different. I just think this will go really well. Open with a white t-shirt underneath. But overall, I think this is a really clean piece. Let me know your thoughts on this in the description box below. Let me know if any of you lot are going to any festivals this summer. I'm currently going to wireless and maybe going to part light. So the next pick I have, once again, it is another vintage piece. I picked this up from a local thrift store in Leeds. You lot know I love my vintage clothes. It is this wavy, nice, kind of, like, kind of orangey yellow t-shirt from Adidas. Kind of like the new ones that they brought out. Just has the Adidas embroidery right there in lower case. And on the sleeves, kind of like the three stripes there, just half. And if you saw it from closer up, it's kind of like an old school football shirt print. It's got like this really nice lining right here. Very, very clean. I got this for a steal of eight pounds. So coming to the final item I copped this month, and once again, it is from my favorite brand, Tommy Hilfiger, another piece of the collection. It is this oversized purple fleece right here. It says Tommy Sports embroidered right there. And on the sleeve, you can see right here, if it focuses, it says Tommy Sports with the American flag right there. And on the back, the big print there, Tommy Sports. This is so oversized and so cozy. Like the inner lining is actually like a bomber jacket. So it's really, really warm. Very, very good for the winter season, as you saw from my snow photo in, on Instagram. This is definitely beautiful. Bootleg. I actually got this for a steal of £30, but I honestly don't mind with some of the bootleg stuff because it doesn't look too bad. I really like the embroidery, the quality is really nice, and no one's going to have the same thing as me, so I honestly don't mind. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on bootleg in the comment section down below. So now we're moving on to the part of the stuff that's been sent to me. It's all from small independent brands from all over the world. I kind of want to help them out, expose out their stuff, give them the exposure that they need, and see if you lot appreciate their content on clothes like I do. So the first brand I want to talk about, this was mentioned when I went to my Garm House vlog. If you haven't seen it, I'll show you a clip now. Basically this is like a vintage clothing event. If you follow my channel from day one, I had my own pop-up store there. But for this one, I just came down and filmed. And whilst I was there, I spoke to a few store owners who were running their own independent brands. And luckily they sorted me out with two t-shirts. So the first brand I want to talk about, this is someone I've worked with previously. They're based in Leeds. It is the brand Secret Street Tailors. It's a really nice oversized white t-shirt. Very, very clean print. Something really, really different and out there. Let me know your thoughts and opinions of it in the comment section down below. And their website link will be there also, as well as their Instagram if you want to go check it out and see what else they sell on their website. And then the second t-shirt I want to show you is from a brand called Jeffrey Enterprises. Once again, it's owned by someone in Leeds. This kid is a student. He's just dropped out of university to kind of pursue his clothing brand and pursue his vintage clothes. The stuff he's been producing is really good. He's invested a lot into it to get that vintage aesthetic. It is this spirit of ecstasy right on the front right here. Oversized t-shirt. Very, very good quality. Both t-shirts are better than 
just standard like Gildan Fruit of the Loom. And then on the back, it's got this really nice screen print right here in black and white aesthetic. And it just says Jeffrey in the red print there. I'll leave the link for his website and Instagram as well. So please make sure to go check them out. So the third brand I want to talk about is another UK based brand. I've worked with these in the past before. Their stuff is really clean. They've just brought out their new collection. They're expanding the colors, the materials, etc. It is a brand called Bankside Clothing. So the first piece they sent me out, they sent me three pieces, was this long sleeve white t-shirt with just the wavy Bankside bit on the back. Really, really clean, stands out, and the quality is on point. Extra large, oversized fit, and then just Bankside screen printed there. The quality is really nice. And then coming to the second item, this is more of a night out t-shirt. This one actually is probably my favorite out of the bunch. It is this bank size like logo right there. It's like a box logo, but basically what's really good about it, it is reflective right here. It says bank size and kind of has like a city skyscraper right there. And then on the sleeves, what I love really here, it is the single strip. This has been really trending on all trials and everything, but it's reflective, so it looks really good for a photo. Just a really, really clean t-shirt, and the quality is on point. And last but not least, you would have seen this on my Instagram right here. The last product I've got is this hoodie. It's in a pine green, kind of like the t-shirt I'm wearing right now. Pine green, really nice color. I think it suits like darker tones. Banks I just write in the print right there. Kind of the wavy print again. Nothing on the back, but then for added detail, kind of like the champion hoodies, but they've chosen the right sleeve. They've just got a screen print right there. It says Bankside London 2015. Really, really clean pieces. The brand is expanding by the minute. New designs coming all the time. So please make sure to go check them out. Website and Instagram will be in the description box below. So the next brand I want to talk to you about is a brand from home. It, the brand is called Avenue Wave Club. It's a very minimal skateboard brand. I know the only daddy, so hit me up with three pieces. The first piece I want to talk about it is just this white sweatshirt. Quality on point just got that really nice embroidery right there having your wave flow very very minimal he doesn't try to get things too loud in your face just wants to get that nice aesthetic and really good quality pieces the second piece i want to show you it is a beanie right here once again very minimal will go really well with the sweatshirt just the awc once again embroidered right there and the last but not piece it is a t-shirt once again this one's just a screen print in the curve it just says avenue right there very very minimal vibes let me know your thoughts and opinions on it also his website and his instagram will be in the description box below so please make sure to to go check it out he's got a variety of other stuff too so the final brand once again it's a brand that i'm working with again it is a brand called morale clothing they sent me out three pieces as well from their new collection the first piece i want to talk about is their bottoms you would have seen this full outfit on my instagram right here it is these morale joggers right here morale embroidery right there Really nice drawstring with the silver toggles at the end and then it's just got the white strip right at the bottom right there. Very, very well fitted and it's got the zippers as well so you can either wear them like over your shoes or under your shoes. Very well fitted pants and they come at a really good price point. The second piece I want to talk about is an accessory, something that I added in. I think it's really good because it's on trend, the man bags. It is this morale man bag. It's morale print right there, really good quality bag. It's got just the one zipper right there. Actually, it's got two compartments. It's got a compartment right there, the front where you put your phone, then kind of put like your wallet, etc. like that. Really good for the festival seasons coming up. And last but not least, he sent me to make the full outfit a black full zip hoodie. This one's actually something different. The design looks really nice. It's got morale print on the hood right there, morale right there. And basically it's elongated. And at the back, it's kind of got like a penguin kind of kind of feel to it. It's like a V shape at the bottom and it's got two drawstrings hanging out. It's kind of like a part of the coat, something really different for a jacket. I like how he's doing something different with the materials and the design of the clothing, just not a standard hoodie or jacket. Once again, the link for his website and Instagram will be in the description box below. Please make sure to go check it out. They've got a load of clean pieces. Let me know your favorite pieces out of these variety of brands and a huge thank you to everyone that sent me some stuff. If there's any other brands out there that are interested in sending me some stuff to be featured on the channel, be sure to DM me on Instagram, which is at them had the underscore. And I'm sure we can arrange something. Overall, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, then please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I post two men's fashion videos every single week, one midweek and one every single Sunday. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoy my pickups and the series, then please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really goes a long way. Overall, have a nice day. Go check out the rest of my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Man. I love bisexual women. I do. Me, I buy cars, you just rent them. Lowercase. Niggas is snakes that got venom. Watch out. All these hundreds like I print them. Yeah.